Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to upload images in Mid Journey, and of course, we're gonna use them as prompt. And by the way, before we get started, I just wanna let you know that I wanna greet you a Merry Merry Christmas, and of course, a bountiful and a Happy New Year's. Anyway, let's get started right here. So the first thing you want to check is, of course, you need to see this platform on your end. It's gonna be called Discord. I'm sure you know about this one, and the next thing you want to check is Mid Journey. So, under Mid Journey, there is a new version called Mid Journey Model V6 or Alpha. This one right here, because before I'm using version 5.2. For this video, make sure you have version V6 or version 6. If you don't have this one right here, don't worry. You just need to update your Discord. It's gonna be automatically in sync update. Now, Next thing you want to check is basically make sure everything here is the same as I have here. I have remix mode, turbo mode, public, high variation or low variation. This is by your own um, preference. I'm going to go with high variation here. Stylist med, of course, this is going to be on medium. So the first thing I want you to do is basically have a photo prepared. So I'm going to open my file explorer. If you have a Mac, that's going to be, I think, um, quick search. Not sure of it anyway. So I'm going to use this photo of my dog that I got from Pexel Bay. I'm going to use a reference, this one right here. I'm just going to place it over there. Now I'm just going to drag it and place it on mid journey. So it's going to be right there. Now, please take note, this is the crucial part because most people forgot this crucial part. Upon entering or upon dragging the photo, they're going to type a prompt immediately, which is a very wrong way. It will not read your photo. So the first thing you want to do is after uploading your photo on the search bar or prompt bar, we may call it, simply click on enter. We want the photo to be inside Discord or rather inside Mid Journey. Now, once uploaded, you'll see it right here in the conversation. You just want to right click and click on copy link. Now, for some reason, you cannot see copy link on the right click option. I want you to click on the photo itself like so. And from here, click on right click and copy link. Now from here and out, just type in the command imagine, this one right here, click on space, and of course, paste your prompt. Control V for PC and command V I think for Mac. So easy as that. And basically click on space and enter your prompt. So for example, I'm gonna go as it is. I'm gonna go French Bulldog in a beach. Easy as that. I'm going to click on enter now and I'm going to get back to you with the results. So welcome back to the video. This is going to be our images and on the right side is the reference photo I got. Now, please take note that we can generate this image without the, uh, the prompt earlier, right? You can simply use a prompt without using a reference image. The idea of this video is using a photo as a prompt to get that exact look you're looking for. For example, my reference photo has a spots. This second and last one has spots also, and basically we have the same thing. Not as much though, because I'm going to teach you a way here to get the most accurate as much as your reference photo. So let's try it one more time. So I'm going to click imagine one more time here. Of course, paste the link. Don't forget about that one. I'm just going to type in the same prompt, French Bulldog in a beach. Now from some features here, I'm going to click on space. I'm going to click on dash dash. I'm going to click on IW. IW means image weight. Image weight means how intense it is on your reference photo. Now, image weight has a maximum feature or rather limit of 2.0. You can input 1.9, 1.5, but the limit or maximum is 2.0. So I'm going to get back to you with the result of this image. Hello there. Welcome back. And this is going to be the final result. As you can see on the second image, it's much likely the same as the one we got, but it's not technically identical because there's going to be a different photo in any way. So this is going to be the result using the IW or image weight option or feature. And basically for this one, if you want another variation, simply click on the second one right here. So example, if you want to vary number two, click on V2 right there, click on submit, and we'll have another prompt. Anyway, basically that's the idea here using an image as a prompt. So I'm just going to get back to you with this last um, option, or rather last um, product, and basically click on it. And we have it uh, in here. A lot of them has those dots, much like our reference photo. 
Anyway, that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.